Okay, I'm introducing you to a software program that is will allow you to burn ISOs to media. So we're going to find out that today's um, tech has to be very, very comfortable with the concepts of ISOs and we need software that will allow us to take these files, these ISO files, and turn around and burn them to media. So what is an ISO? If we go to Wikipedia, ISOs are simply uh, ISO is known as an extension. You can see over here that this extension dot ISO is really a, a way that um, IT folks have, or programmers came up with an idea of taking uh, CD-ROMs and DVDs and turning them into files. Now that's tricky because you have to get all the contents of the DVD or CD-ROM and do it correctly and turn it into an actual file that can be saved on a hard drive. Well, once they got, got, the, um, got that down where they could take a CD-ROM and a DVD and convert that entire media perfectly into a preset standard file called an ISO, uh, then they needed software that could go, go the other way. We would need burning software that would take the file, the ISO file that represented the DVD or CD-ROM, and convert it back to media. So an ISO is basically an archive file known as a disk image uh, of an optical disk, some type of CD-ROM, DVD, and uh, some sharp programmers came up with an idea of how to go on to a media and extract all the data and turn it into an actual file. So you can go to Wikipedia and look that up. Now there are many types of of uh, competitive ISO files that end up with different extensions like IMG and other types of extensions. These, so there's a lot of other types of uh, ways of doing this. I'm actually at the website of AMOK. Obviously this is a programmer who has written a number of software programs and he has his own personal website. Um, you can take a look at the URL up here. So I've got the URL up here and I'm actually clicked on the uh, CD-ROM DVD burning software link right here. And so I'm at this page. This is a nice little software program because it allows you to uh, download a portable app. So it's a portable app type ISO burning program and it does all kinds of burning. So you can burn DVD, CD-ROMs, but it also has the ability to take an ISO file and convert it into media. Uh, so you can, you can go to this website, uh, download the, the software, and if you click on the download, and I'm gonna do that right now, I'll click on the download. Well, this will come up here in just a minute. You click on the uh, license agreement, click on the license agreement, and you've got a couple download links. Now they've got one that's got no setup, and this is the, this particular one will be the, the portable app. If you go to the setup program, this will actually install. The reason it's recommended is because it probably works better with most CD-ROM DVD burners, but I prefer the the portable app version. So you can click on this download. Now the web page may change in the future. I have no control over that. So you're going to have to figure it out if if you go to it to this site and he has modified this page. It downloads as a zip file and I've unzipped it into a folder on my desktop and you can see the contents of the folder. There's lots of subdirectories and skins and other stuff but we're basically interested in this exe. What I like about portable apps is you don't have to install them. So now I have downloaded the software, unzipped it, extracted it onto my desktop into a folder that I desired, and the contents of that zip file are extracted now as you see before you. So I'm going to run the exe file and open up the burning software. So I'm gonna do that. Windows 7 is warning me that this is an application running. And it opens up into um, a GUI interface for the software. 
this is uh, this software will do lots of things but I want to just focus on burning ISOs and so you can see on the front panel it's got erase and burn and close and it's got like an explorer view of your hard drive and various uh, devices it's got configure and plugins and you're welcome to play around and take a look at that a couple things you want to pay attention to is you want to be able to see up here the device that you're going to burn to you, you need to have some um, device to burn to so if this is not detecting your cd-rom you need to pull down this drop down menu and make sure that it sees the cd-rom or dvd burner on your machine you can choose the speed uh, do you want it to burn at maximum speed etc um, so those are things you just want to check real quick most of the default checks check boxes are going to be fine you can use those so let's get focused on how do we take an ISO file and burn it to media I'm going to choose the ISO menu right here I'm going to click on that and we're going to we're going to we can we can save ISOs in other words we can take a media and save it as an ISO so it's very cute very cool we can convert different forms of images like the bin file to an ISO we can also convert NRG to ISO so this has some conversion features if you already have a dot BIN file and you want to convert it to an ISO you can you can also convert a NRG to ISO and again ISO is just one way of doing this it is popular but there are many other file formats that convert CD-ROMs, DVDs to files. Okay. We're going to focus on burn and ISO. So I'm going to choose that. It's now asking me to select the ISO file to, to uh, work from. Most of you will drag your ISO files from the server to your desktop. Remember to do that. You always want to do that. And I'm going to select the Ubuntu. 9.10 ISO file this is actually a DVD so make sure you have a DVD blank DVD to do the Ubuntu because it's larger than what you normally would have so I'm going to choose that select OK open and because I've got a blank DVD already in the burner watch what happens it's actually going to kick off and run I mean there's really nothing else to do but just kind of get out of its way I can hear my uh, burner spin and crank and moan and groan and all I had to do was choose that that menu option point it to the ISO on my desktop and if it's got a blank in the CD-ROM burner it actually begins to kick off and go you can look down here and see that it's looking at right speeds it's actually beginning over here is we're actually watching the 8% nine percent so we're off and running I, I didn't have to do anything more than just what you saw to begin the burning process so this is what it takes to do it it's easy to do I think you'll be fine uh, and you can burn your various ISOs with ease one last caution as you're finalizing uh, you're getting ready to finish the burning of the ISO to, to a, a media make sure that you do not get in a hurry you notice down here it says finalizing track please wait even though it may seem like it's a hundred percent done do not mess with the device until it is finished it will actually pop the drive out so don't get in a hurry you'll actually break the finalizing piece which will make the disc uh, a coaster so don't get impatient let it do its work